another fun question came in from Elizabeth Forbes Wallace regarding the biases that we might have in our science. And Elizabeth asked of you, have you found it helpful to talk to people who are not astrobiologists, but who have the necessary scientific background to help shine a light on said biases? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's one of the things that I love about astrobiology is that it weaves together so many different subdisciplines and no one person that at least I've met so far has had an answer to everything and every every perspective. So, you know, taking that collaborative approach to gaining perspectives from folks who are coming from biology or even, you know, in the case of my exoplanet machine learning project, working with folks coming from a perspective of computer science backgrounds and engineering uh, in terms of developing the instruments to actually probe and test the science questions that we want. It all kind of folds together and no one person can do or, or tackle it all. So I think in particular with regard to like modeling biases or assumptions, we turn to folks for, say, in earth sciences with regards to, you know, atmospheric models and building a model that we can then translate to, to other parameter spaces. You know, we will need help then from other planetary scientists if we you know, want to translate a model to work with Titan. Okay, there's people in our lab that work on Titan and and you know understand organic cases. So let's let's go to them and let's figure out how to make it happen. So definitely weaving in those different perspectives in order to to mitigate those biases and also you know sort of transform and build on our modeling techniques is absolutely crucial. 